good morning everyone so it is saturday and it is gloomy outside it rained yesterday um not that hard so the weather is definitely changing it has been cold lately i think i'm coming down with a cold is not corona because of this you know weather change and whatnot so yeah i feel fine i just have the sniffles and i feel myself like you know you know how it is when you feel a cold coming on so <clears throat> that's going on you guys i woke up this morning and i'm like okay and i'll keep talking about this but you guys know how i am so my reading corner that i'm trying to make over in there i have my mini fridge there right i don't use it anymore so at the top there's like ice that i need to defrost and i don't want to just unplug it and have the ice melt inside the refrigerator on my floor in the room so i cleared a space and i walked the refrigerator out and it's right here i'll show you guys in a minute but i walked it out to the backyard and i tilted it a little bit just so it can defrost and the water can go outside that block of ice can melt right so after all this work I got so sweaty doing it. That mini fridge is not light at all. So I'm trying to be careful, like I said, walking it outside. I try to be careful not to scratch my floors in my room or my hardwood floors in here in the hallway. Right when I got it outside, right when I got it outside, I remembered, wow, I have a dolly in the garage that my brother left over here. Yeah. When it's done and when I bring it back in, I won't be walking it in. I will be getting that dolly. So, yeah, that was crazy. So, right there, you guys, that's the mini fridge. And it's tilted. I don't know if you can tell, but it's tilted so the ice block can melt. And it probably won't melt as fast as it normally would if it was hot. But still, it'll melt um, because the refrigerator is unplugged and whatnot but it's not supposed to rain today so that's the reason why i chose to do it today and not tomorrow so then i'm going to take pictures of it so i can sell it okay so see that big block of ice that's there i tried taking the hammer and busting it not working too much and because it's not hot it's not melting quick so this may be an all-night job so we're watching my first vlog and the kids are laughing at, not the kids, but Cheyenne and Savannah are laughing at me because of the camera quality. No, they can go see it themselves. I'm not going to record our first. Why is everything long? Ew. Okay, we're done. Look how brown my walls were in my room, you guys. Ew, it's poop brown. That's disgusting. Look at my boy. Okay. Oh my goodness, it is so cold out here. I cannot see. Okay. This is gonna be an overnight process because there's still a huge chunk of ice in there. So I wanted to show you guys this plant. This is actually Savannah's plant, plant flower, I don't know. She got this at Winco maybe like, mm, I would, less than a month ago, right? And it came pre-packaged and, but everything was separate. Like the dirt was separate and then it was the bulb of the flower and then maybe this much of it. And so she planted it and it has grown so much. And it's funny cause today when I was watering my plant, she asked me to water hers and I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know if you want me around any of your plants. But anyway, this thing seems like it has grown overnight. It's opening right there. It's opening right there a little bit so yeah I'll show you guys the progress of this when it fully blooms and I honestly feel that this has grown overnight it just seemed like it sprouted up I forgot the name of it so I'm not sure but if it's this easy to grow and it doesn't get really any light right here I may go get one for me so I want to show you guys something today is Tuesday and two days ago on Sunday, I put the refrigerator out so the ice could melt. Well, <laughs> as you can see, it's still wet. The ice had melted enough where I was able to use a hammer and 
get the rest out of there so i actually brought it in i wiped it down so yeah you guys two days and the ice still isn't even melted hello it is tuesday like i was saying and no i don't have my ponytail on today i may put it on later but last night i washed and conditioned my hair so i just have it all pulled back i know you can't really see anyway enough about my hair um what was i telling you guys so the refrigerator yeah two days you guys and the ice is still frozen solid i'm glad it got to a point to where i can take the ice out and it was a huge big old block of ice and then when i pulled it it fell and last time i had to take it out to the backyard so the freezer part could defrost was it was during the summertime and not this year but during the summertime and it literally took maybe two or three hours for the ice to melt and fall out but that's because it was summer so two days you guys two days and it's still a huge ice block of ice out there i'm sure boston will appreciate that he likes ice water so um i'm sure he'll go out there and lick it or whatever but yeah today is tuesday and i'm just here i'm in my room right now um i don't know if i'm gonna go sit in the living room i'm actually looking in this corner here because it's turning out really nicely and let me take this up my head my little clamp right there because it keeps hitting against the leather on my headboard anyway um yeah i'm not doing nothing y'all look at this plant i think it's growing by the second because it's really super tall really super tall actual word yep that's english that's michelle's english so it is 5 40 and i'm just now picking up the camera again y'all know how i do um anyway i am starting to watch the crown on netflix because i keep hearing so much stuff about it so i'm actually about to watch the first episode now i've always known that i would probably like it but i just never watched it i just always had it on my list so there's four seasons so i'm gonna start watching it now i, I know a few of you that watch it and have dm me and say oh you should watch it it's really good so y'all know I, i'm i'm a procrastinator i do things on michelle time you know how there's cp time where there's michelle time yeah now's the time that michelle watches the crown and also once again y'all know how i am when i start something how i keep going on and on about it but my little reading corner the picture that i had on the wall i moved it and i'll show you guys where i moved it to it doesn't look all that great right there because you really can't see it that much but it doesn't bug me it's not horribly bad so it's just gonna stay there until if i feel the need to take it down because when i bought it i fell in love with it and it's just a simple picture of the beach and it's not even all that great but i fell in love with it so let me show you guys so this right here i put it here it was over this way <laughs> and i'm not going to show you guys um if you didn't see where it was because i've already started decorating that area but yeah i put it up as high as i was able to that way you could still see the i guess the broken pier or whatever so yeah you guys it's right there for now until I can find a better spot for it or I don't know maybe I'll just leave it there what do you think I know you're not in here to actually see the whole thing but it actually it's it's not that bad good afternoon everyone I am just now picking up the camera today is today's Thursday and um, I've already had a productive day so when I woke up this morning I went to the bank I went and got my oil change in my car because the light came on that it's time to change the oil. Got that taken care of. I went to Winco, got some groceries. I came home. I did the dishes and they're in the dishwasher right now. I did the dishes and I cleaned the whole house and I actually mopped my floors. And I say actually because usually I wait until my kids are asleep before I mop because one of my pet peeves is when people walk on my wet floor even if it's just like one thing or one a couple footsteps I don't know I just hate people walking on my wet floors so everyone is at work so I took this opportunity to do it now instead of waiting until later so yeah the whole house is cleaned and I do have the refrigerator right there I have someone that wants to buy it so I am sitting here watching um catching up on um, my YouTube subscriptions and I have not eaten yet it is 1 30 
and I haven't eaten anything. I woke up around nine o'clock and hit the ground running. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat my lunch, relax a little bit, and then I'll cook dinner later. And I have my front door open because it is not as cold today and because it's been raining, they have not been working on the street, so it's not noisy. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday and it's early, but I'm dressed, not too early, but I'm dressed because later on this afternoon, when the girls get off of work, we are taking a road trip. We're going on a road trip. We just wanna get away. There's not a lot to do right now because California is having another shutdown. I don't think as strict as it was before, but um, we're gonna have a curfew enforced and whatever. I'll bring you guys along, of course, and I'll vlog my day, so. Yeah, I'm already dressed and everything, so I need to pack my bag because I didn't do that last time. It was like a literally spur of the moment thing, like decided on at the last minute. Everyone's like, oh, let me check my finances. Oh yeah, I got extra money, let me do this. So yeah, let me pack a bag and then I can um, go make sure the kitchen is straightened up and yeah. Okay, so let me pause this actually for a minute. I'm actually catching up on Melissa's vlogs. Um, I think I missed the last two. Because um, I don't watch YouTube every day. And when I do, it's like I have so many people to watch. So I always resort to my top ones that I love watching everything, like everything they put out. Melissa's one of them. Edna's another one of them. And there's many more on the list that I watch every single video they put up, no matter what it is, even if I don't comment. So I'm about to have coffee in my Wonder Woman Decades mug. Okay, there you guys can see it. And it's because, see, there's the year underneath her um, costume and then how it changes over the years. And it goes all the way to what she wears now. So I'm about to make my coffee. Um, dishes are washing right now. They're clean. Well, they're being washed, so um, I won't leave a dirty... dirty kitchen and making my coffee and yeah that's about it I'm not too hungry right now so probably won't be eating anything for now so I know I didn't show you guys the before but last night I took all three of these covers off because these chairs the covers come off and you can wash them right so it was time to wash them they were looking a little bit you know spotty whatever so I did that for some reason this time it was so hard to get them back on and I don't even think yeah it has velcro that you can you know I don't even want to pull it out but it has velcro so it can stay on there but yeah these were so hard to get back on I actually worked up a sweat so yeah I just wanted to tell you guys that oh my goodness you guys it's been a while since you guys have been there um, it is so cold um, Savannah's off work and we are about to run some errands really quick gas up the car and then Cheyenne gets off in about an hour so when she gets home we will leave and then it's nice out here I, I just told them it's cold <laughs> she's all it's nice out here it's cold so we're in Stanton Optical Savannah is picking up her contacts I don't even know if I told you guys she was getting contacts. So the first pair she had, it was too blurry. So she had to have them order her another pair. So hopefully these fit and then she can purchase them. Okay, so we're back in the car. And as you guys see, because I was telling them we were at Stanton Optical, her prescription was a good one because she doesn't have her glasses on, you guys. Isn't she cute? Well, she's always cute. But she has her contacts in. You know, it's, it's you're supposed to say thank you. Anyway, she has worn glasses since you were what, six, seven? No. Yeah. Mama, do you know how old you are? I will grade you are in at six. You were like in first grade at six. I was in sixth grade when I when I got contacts. I was like, so I was like um twelve or something. 
when you got glasses. contacts. I got glasses. I honestly thought, oh, we're waiting in line for the car wash. I don't know if I told you guys that. I thought you were like in fourth or fifth grade, no. but then why did I say six or seven? Because that would make you in first grade. I really thought you were younger than that. Sixth grade, you sure? Mm -hmm. I remember the day because I got I was out of school that day, and we pulled up to school, back to the school to pick up Shine and Tariq, or maybe Shine or Tariq or something like that. But I remember exactly. Uh -oh. Anyway, she's been wearing glasses for a long time, and I remember at one point when I wanted to get her contacts, oh, no. she was like, "I don't want anything to do with contacts." But now she she likes them. I, no, because if I was in sixth grade, they wouldn't be at the school. So they were, um, they weren't at the school. We went back that day to sign me, um, member to, to clear my absence. That's why you went back to the school. Well, apparently you got a better memory than I do. I can take I my glasses that, exactly. off because it's dark in here. Well, not dark, but y'all know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. She had her window down, no. oh my gosh. That would not have been good, you guys, <laughs> at all. Like, as much it's as getting I wet. Oh, this lighting is kind of fire. Oh, just because you can see? <laughs> no, it's like bright. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let them see you. They Savannah is taking pictures. Oh, oh, be careful. Um, Savannah's taking pictures. I'll show you guys what she's taking pictures of. Of the city. We are facing the front of the hotel this time. It's really nice. And you guys, we just came to get away because we have nothing else to do. And we can't go on vacation. And Disneyland is closed. So, can you guys see Savannah's reflection in the mirror? behind the scenes of her um, montage montage so when she gets everything up I will let you guys know so you guys can go check her out yep Good morning. It is Saturday. Look at Savannah's outfit, you guys. Turn around, Cheyenne. I mean, Savannah, so they can see you. She is so cute. She has on a, not a bustier. What's that? Oh, my gosh. A corset. And then, okay, you walked away. I was trying to show them your OOTD. You can still show them. And then she, okay. Oh. <laughs> and then her platform shoes that she loves so much. But she. The Shaker 160 boots. Okay, what she said. So anyway, we are, oh, go ahead. Okay, and Cheyenne is finishing getting ready and we are about to get breakfast and go out, but look at the city, you guys. It was actually nice waking up and seeing this. Did I say that already? I feel like I did. And here's me, good morning. Okay, so we are on our way out. Gotta go get some breakfast. There's Cheyenne, say hi Cheyenne. You guys never see my beautiful oldest child. That's all you give them, just a little wave? Okay. <laughs> Still no one presses the button but me. You're so cute. Woo. I'm gonna steal 
one of those fish. So we are in LA and I wonder if you guys can guess this place. from season one of American Horror Story. So we were actually able to get out to take pictures of videos of the murder house from season one of American Horror Story. And there's actually a lot of people out there taking pictures as well. And there's trucks out here like filming crews or whatever it says the WB I don't know what that is but yeah we are in I don't know where we are I think it's little Tokyo but then again I don't know some shopping center so even though there's three stories and there are a lot of shops here a lot of shops the majority of them are closed probably because of the new restrictions here in California we're going into tiered lockdown again now we're going up to the third floor. And as you guys can see, the majority of everything is closed. There's some restaurants up here that's open though. Korean barbecue, even though it says open, it's closed. Different foods that they have here. Yeah. This is the Tofu House right here. Grand opening, October 1st. And they can't even have anybody inside. Look at all the crabs. You can get a live one and cook it at home. No, thank you. I'll take my meat not breathing. to get in downtown Disney. And Cheyenne's taking a picture with the sign here. It's loud. Buena Vista Street, you guys. Does yours look this dark or does it look darker than this? Mine's a little bit brighter. Yeah. Not by much, though. So. See? So you can only go so far. Everything is roped off between certain areas, so. Y'all, this is so sad. I'm in Disney California Adventure, and I can't do a thing but shop and eat. Aren't you sad, Cheyenne? Very. Yeah. Are you sad? Carthay Circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's vlogging. Y'all, this feels so weird to be here and to not be able to do anything. over there and then somebody's across from us so not too bad good morning everyone it is sunday i didn't even close out the vlog yesterday but i'm on my way down to get breakfast i don't know if you guys can hear me because the mask is pretty thick um i'm on my way down to get breakfast because last time and i remember my mask this time oh i sprayed my body spray and it has so much glitter on it ah, okay i need to get some of that off very shiny 
So here's the breakfast. It's the orange juice. We didn't get any of the breakfast yesterday. It's probably the same as before. Yep, pretty much. Apple, a muffin, and egg and cheese burrito flavored with bacon, and a Nature Valley granola bar. So we're just packing up to leave right now. And I didn't give you guys a room tour because we've been here recently. You guys can see it on the other video where um, I met Edna. But anyway, one last tour of the city, a tour, one last view of the city. And then we are out of here. So we are at Chevron and I just filled up the tank. The girls are actually inside now. They all of a sudden decided they wanted something to drink. So gonna go get something to drink. So what I forgot to tell you guys yesterday is we did get into Disney California Adventure on Buena Vista Street, but because we went late in the evening, because um, we had been out all day doing safe things, of course. You have to get on a wait list and be called in. We got in the standby line, which, yeah, we got in. We were able to get snacks, but all of the shops were closed. So we didn't get the shop. Um, we'll have to come back and do that. But it was still nice to be in there. And it was kind of weird because they had sections roped off where you could only go so far. So you can only go... If you guys know the layout, of, you go in the park, and if you go to the right, there is Turnover, California. So you can only go a little bit past there, and it was roped off, and cast member was there, and go straight. You can only go to a little bit past the waterfalls, and then if you go to the left, you can only go down the area where you know where the backdrop is not all the way to that back drop um, before it veers off in that direction to head to head towards um, Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah, I wish we were able to do some shopping, but mm, next time we went too late. So yeah, it was still a nice little getaway, um, getting cabin fever, just sitting in the house and here come the girls. feels like it's so big and that's the part that you're at. so we're in loving hut savannah's with me we're getting vegan lunch and yeah and as you can see we're back from anaheim i didn't close out the video or anything like that because i was tired and i fell down yesterday but it wasn't no one's fault it was dark and i was out of my side yard so anyway anything to say <laughs> So Savannah got some type of soup and she let me taste one of the meats in it and it tastes really good. I got, I think it is spicy tofu um, with barbecue sauce and I'm gonna put that over rice. Mm -hmm. 